So why do you choose certain colours when you're painting? I choose... Um, I, I tend to go on instinct, actually. I'm a very instinctive painter. Uh, colours can obviously be representational. Green can be representation of spending a day in the park. Red can be love uh, or, um, or lust or... Um, and yellow can be a triumphant colour. Blue can be a sacred colour. I often painted blue. Blue's certainly one of my favourite colours. It's a very sacred colour. A lot of I was very influenced. I'm still am by the National Gallery and the, and the paintings of the of the old masters. Uh, maybe out of fashion, but uh, it's never been to me. And um, I, and I've always I was going to National as a child. I always. And as an adult, it's all about the sacred. It's all about the holy. It's all about saints and, and uh, the divine experience. And um, and I wanted to communicate that. Um, you know, I wanted to paint in oils, and uh, I wanted to to communicate the sublime, mm. the sacred. So uh, I fell through abstract painting. I was able to do that. It's another language. It's it's another. Um, it's another, it's another country, abstract painting. And the rules still apply. You, know, you still have to paint with intelligence. You still have to be aware of um, perspective and the relationship of colours and mm. cool and warm yeah. colours. Yeah. You know, cool and warm and uh, hot and cold and, yeah. um, and the balance of colours and the colour wheel. Mm. Um, but uh, abstract painting to me is another language, and that's what art's about. I, 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 I was, I, I suddenly, uh, I was a portrait painter and a figurative painter, and I suddenly felt I wasn't. I wanted to be an artist. I always called myself as an artist, and uh, and I found abstract painting. It took me many years of splashing around and making a frightful mess mm. before I suddenly started to find a language. You said everything to me. No one, no one ever understood it. Mm. What's this language called? Uh, well, it's the abstract. Yeah. It's the abstract. Um, yeah. So for that, you feel that you transcend yourself more through abstract. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Transcend myself and, and, and the world. And I didn't want to. I was doing a lot of new paintings at the moment, mm. at, at the time, and. Um, I I used to have friends who used to look at the paintings and say, "Oh, look at that! Wow." I, you know, I fancy a bit of that. Mm. And I was so disappointed. I felt, no, you've missed the point. I'm not trying to communicate last. I'm trying to communicate the sacred, um, the sacred female. Mm. And, um, and it, it used to upset me. And so uh, I came around to abstract and realized that no one could then say, that's about a dude. That's a painting of a dude. That's a painting of a, a beautiful woman with, with beautiful, uh, a, a beautiful body. Yeah. Like the one behind you there. Yeah. This one, it's got that kind of doorways. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, for me it is, but for you it might be something else. No, absolutely. Well, for, uh, what it is for you is more important. Yeah. You know, what it is for me, it, it, sometimes I don't even know what it is for me. Yeah. It's a bad day. But um, if it's, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, um, it's another language, it's another form, and it's a meditation as well. Mm. That's the thing. Words don't get in the way, yeah. Yeah. and uh, that was what uh, it was so exciting to me when I started to find a language. Mm. Well, what advice would you give your younger self? My younger self, um, what advice? Um, work harder, <laughs> work harder, uh, work harder. Be kinder, um, yeah, and be more thoughtful. <laughs>